a little mobile disk clip that takes you through how you can determine the molar mass of a volatile liquid. So the measurements that will be taken will be used in two common molar equations. Now both of these have specific units that go with each of the components. So when we're taking readings experimentally and using those measurements uh, to insert values into equations, sometimes we don't actually get the automatic unit we require. So for example, volume is often measured in centimetres cubed, but here it's required in metres cubed. So it's a common mistake sometimes uh, that people make is to put the numbers that they get provided with straight into PV equals NRT, for example, without thinking about the unit conversions first. So it's very important to just check your units to make sure that they're in the correct format to go into the equation that you need. So I'm going to leave those units in red with the components of each equation that they represent as a reminder of what to do as we collect our, um, our measurements and our readings throughout the demonstration. Right, so now we know what we have to collect. Um, we can look at the film demonstration with a little step-by-step um, -step method as we go. And as we collect the, the pieces of data that we need, we can put them into the results table. There's a little space at the bottom of the left-hand corner if there's unit calculations required. I'll take you through those as we go. So before we go any further, I just want to point out that the mass of ethanol, uh, ethanol being the vapour that we're going to use in this particular demonstration, requires an initial and a final mass to be recorded. So about two-thirds full of a 400 ml beaker is filled with uh, tap water and heated as a water bath. So as that water warms up, you can collect a small beaker, a square of aluminium foil and a rubber band. Now these three things have to be weighed. So I put them together on the balance and that gives me 58.429 grams. So this next part is where I set up the, um, the actual ethanol. So I take a very small amount, uh, between one and two uh, centimetres cubed. Careful not to spill it. And that's put into the beaker. And then the beaker has to be made into a sort of sealed container, but in such a way that the pressure can remain constant. So just checking my measurement there, it's roughly around one centimetre cubed. So carefully pour that into the beaker. And get as much in there as possible. So now I put the foil over the top because uh, that's going to be my lid. And the foil will also tend to reflect heat back down into the, into the liquid rather than let it escape. So I need to seal it with um, a rubber band, keep it in place. And then using a, a pin, I can make a tiny hole in the top and that hole can ensure that the pressure remains constant throughout. So I don't need a big hole, you can barely see it. It's only very small. So you can see it's boiling but in a controlled manner. So the ethanol will boil at 78 degrees C within the small beaker, so the complete vaporization of the ethanol will enable us to take measurements whilst it's a gas. So at this point, this flask is wiped of any excess water on the outside, and it's re-weighed, and the difference in the mass can be used to calculate the mass of the ethanol. So that gives us 0 0.2 grams. So we now want to know what the internal volume of the flask was. In other words, the volume that was occupied by the um, ethanol vapour during the heating process. 
So this is easily done, so we just fill the the uh, the flask to the brim with water like you can see, and you can pour it into a measuring cylinder. So when I did that, I ended up with 128 centimeters cubed measuring the bottom of the meniscus. So that now enables me to put in the volume in meters cubed by taking 128 centimeters cubed and dividing it by a million to convert it into meters cubed. So the next thing I can do is my calculation. So I need to think about the things I already know. I know what the volume is. I know that 8.314 is the value from the exam board data sheet. Um, I know that the pressure measured in the room was 101,300 pascals. I measured the temperature as 92 degrees Celsius of the water bath. So I added 273 to that to convert it to Kelvin. So what I need to do is rearrange PV equals NRT so that N is the subject. So now what I need to do is collect all my, my numbers that have been converted into the correct units and put them into that expression. And that will give me quite long calculator value which I'm going to keep because I need to use this when I do my next stage of my calculation. So remembering what capital M is, it's the molar mass of my ethanol and small case m is the mass of my ethanol and small case n is the number of moles of ethanol that I've just worked out. So that gives us 46.8 0.72865.2 grams per mole to the minus 1. So if we think of the formula for ethanol, uh, it's uh, C2H5OH, so add all those up and you get 46. Okay, so thanks for listening, I hope you found this useful, and until next time, see you soon.